I got a fire video to watch. A cop arrests corrupt politicians. Ooh, these little corrupt. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's like, do you know who I am? No, mother get in the back seat out of here. You blew a 7.8 move. Let's watch this dude. Entitled and corrupt politicians are everywhere. But what happens when these same politicians actually get arrested? I don't have to talk to you. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not talking to you. Here are three examples uh -oh. of politicians who got handed a piece of justice pie. Starting with Martin Hyde, an election candidate whose actions were so shocking it cost him his career. Ooh. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, sir? Officer Baskin, sir, is at a police department. You're on audio and video recording. The reason for the stop, you were observed going 57 and a 40, and you were on your phone texting while you were doing that. Ooh. That was at Euclid and Fruitvale. You don't need to point at me, officer. I'm not pointing at you. I'm pointing in the direction where it was. I just pulled the chief, officer. Go right ahead, sir. Can you I see your license? I am, right? Yes, sir, I do. In case you don't know who this is. What a dick. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Stop resisting. I'm going to throw him on the fucking floor. I'm, I'm tackling him. I'm kicking him in the back of the head. Concussion. Martin Hyde. When this traffic stop occurred, he was a candidate in the congressional election for Florida's 16th district. He was trying to become the head politician for his area. However, it seems like this has made him feel as though he's above the law. Uh -oh. But this cop is about to show him just how wrong he is. Can I see your license registration insurance, please? Can you do this? Yes, sir. What's your name? Officer Baskin, it's going to be on the citation. Sir, can I have How your people? Seven years, sir. Can I see your registration, please? What do you mean, no? Yo, I'll punch him in his shit. He, who does he think he is? Like, he owns the town. Fuck you, you're not above the law. Martin's demeanor already feels threatening. He looks almost as though he's suppressing his anger, and like he thinks this is an unfair situation. But being a politician makes you no more clear of the law than a regular citizen. Mm -hmm. In fact, it should be the exact opposite. But instead of realizing that, he decides to start threatening the officer even more. Uh-oh. You're not gonna give me a registration, sir. You can arrest me? I'm asking you if you're gonna produce me with your registration. You wanna have it on you? Get out the vehicle. Go cool. This wind is fucking me up right now. Okay, sir, are you refusing to produce your registration? I'm asking you if you have your registration. You're making career decisions. Okay, Why are you sir. Doing this? Sir, because you were speeding and you were texting. Where's your video? Alright. Hang tight. I hope he gets tased. I just spoke to you, boss. Okay. Just... You want to show paperwork? Is it your Russian immigrant status that makes people like this? Huh? Can you have my supervisor respond, please? Yeah. And then we'll see who goes. Okay. First off, Martin tries to force the officer to comply with his demands, threatening her by saying not following his orders is a career decision. This implies that should she not release him, he'll use his connections to get her fired. Secondly, it seems that while she was running his paperwork, Martin has done some of his own research on the officer, insulting her for being a Russian immigrant. Wow. This statement is, of course, offensive. But you have to wonder what his motive for making it was. Did he want to seem xenophobic on camera, or was he trying to threaten her by claiming claiming he knows everything about her. Either way, he certainly doesn't feel like stopping yet. You know Bro feels like El Chapo. Like, who the fuck does he think he is? I'll drag him out the car. Sir, you're going to be issued a citation. Everything you have to say. I'll wait for the supervisor. You can wait for the supervisor, but I'm going to go through what I need to go through. No, I have not interest. Are you are going to be issued a citation? the registration. Well, you've been already issued a citation for that. For what? For failing to produce your registry. Imagine, imagine all the shit that gets swept under the rug, bro. Politicians are just corrupt. All right, sir, you gonna? Stupid. You know what he said about you? You wanna hear what he said about you? He could say all he wants about me. I got a job to do, sir. You know what he said about okay. you? If he you fail to complete, you like this. okay. And he's gonna have you again. And that's fine. It's not fine. What you said is fine, sir. I'm a law-abiding citizen. You're being bloody okay. rude. She's being if way you too patient. To go ahead and do the court. Just make sure you do a prior submission of payment as they do you require a certificate of completion. If you sign up for it, you must complete it. Otherwise, they will go ahead and suspend your license. 
The officer is handling this perfectly, and it's clearly making Martin angry. Very professional. He's trying to scare her off by repeating all the things her supervisor said, being extremely rude to her by telling her to shut up, and making amusing statements such as, I'm a law-abiding citizen. In his world, it feels as though he isn't a citizen at all, because the laws seem to be completely different for him. Uh-oh. Are you still waiting for a supervisor, or are you leaving? Brad Giardi's coming down. Okay. Very good. By the way, he's a friend of mine. I'm sorry. Okay. After a few more minutes of uh -oh. this, a second unit arrives on the scene to witness Martin's entitled behavior continue. So, that's the way you another unit. Someone a certificate uh, ticket for no registration when they've got the registration. She's trying to make her spurs, but it's a big mistake. It's not a big mistake. You weren't giving her the registration, you dick face. You seven chin fat fuck. Like, what are we talking about here? This motherfucker turned to his left muscle and he had like eight rolls looking like Denji. Move, bitch. We're going to make sure that she pays the price for being disrespectful. Balding bitch. I just wanted you to witness it. Know that, they, yeah, the registration was right there, and she deliberately chose to write the ticket. She came up, I she said, the first... Look, there's a video of it, so be quiet. There's a video of what you said. There is. And I've got a video of what you said. I've lived here for 25 years. I've represented your unit. I've got no interest in listening to you, young lady. This is the first Jesus. time anybody has been disrespectful to me. It's the manner and the nature of it. Outrageous. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you do that? Manner and he's being such a Karen. The fact that he threatened her livelihood, knew who she was, and brought up that she was a Russian immigrant. That is already crazy to me. He switched up 100%. Why? Eventually, the officer's supervisor turns up to have a conversation with oh, Martin. Oh yeah, talk to him. Pretty much nothing new is said, but Martin was told that the body cam footage will be reviewed, and if there's anything wrong with it, he'll be the first to know. It's also important to mention that even though Martin's shameful behavior was evident throughout the entire event, and that the female officer was in the right the entire time, none of her colleagues stuck up for her. Wow. With her supervisor even seeming angry at her. Wow. Stay in your car. You can go to the station. Yep, go to the station. Wow. For doing her job, piece of shit, motherfucker. Look how he's standing, too, you bow legged bitch. Look at him with his fucking little cowboy boots on, thinking he's high and mighty. With your dirty ass fucking 132,000 mile fucking Range Rover. In the end, the footage was reviewed, and it was concluded that the female officer did nothing wrong. That's right. The footage was also made public quickly after the event, forcing a public apology from Martin and resulting in his devastating loss in the election. 13%. Can we get an amen? Fuck him. Look at his face. It kind of looks like that one dude that, that does a bunch of karate moves and those, you know what I'm talking about? Not the Terminator, the Equalizer or some shit. Not the Equalizer. You know what I'm talking about? The white dude, he faced against the rock. You know what I'm talking about? What's his name? Hugh Jackson or some shit. With his big ass ears. Okay, not too much on the ears, bro. I got big ears. He was also issued citations for failure to produce registration, yes, sir. texting while driving, and speeding. But Councilman Matthew Riley's took this to another level. Ooh. When he was caught with a pipe in his hands, completely passed out. <laughs> Who is running our country right now, dude? Do you have any weapons on you? No, not at all. A crack <laughs> pipe is crazy. Oh, no way, dude. Really? Yes, yes. I was just taking, I was just on my way back from court. <laughs> well, arrest is going to come check you out, man. I can't let you go. You were literally choking in your sleep. The officer was shocked because Matthew's ID told him he was actually a chairman of the city's Republican Party. And I would honestly, if I was a police officer, I'd be like, dude, I got to move. Like, this is who's representing us. We're fucked. Therefore, a pretty influential person. Wait, sorry. Listen, I, I have a body camera. Obviously, yeah, everything obviously. I have is recorded. You know that. And I, what I've observed is on camera, so I can't. He's pretty much saying, if this camera wasn't here, I would let you go. Isn't that some fucked up shit, chat? We love accountability, baby. Yes, sir. And I did it. Keep them cameras rolling. The going to come here. Oh, and they're going to check you out. You know, you, you, as far as I know, there's no anywhere, so I no. can't, you know, so there's not a criminal investigation. There's more a health or well-being check type Thank thing. Thank you. The conversation is pretty calm on both ends, but Matthew is clearly worried about what effects this could have on his life and career. They then start to discuss the- Fuck the career, bro. Your health. You're doing crack. <laughs> it's the middle of the day. You're passed out in your little SUV doing crack. What are we talking about? That's what you're worried about? Specifics of the situation. And the officer learns exactly how he got into this position. How long have uh, you had this problem, man? It, it, was, a, it was a relapse. I 
been clean for 13 years. Damn. Uh, just went through a really, really bad divorce recently. Damn. Okay. Do you know if any of that was laced with fentanyl or anything? Because you were out, out, and like, looked like you were choking. Really? Yeah. Um, That's why somebody literally sprinted and, and flagged me down because they thought you were having a heart attack or choking. I, no, not that I know. My thing is, why are you doing crack in a parking lot? Like, you're doing a, a crack in a salon parking lot? You would find anywhere to do crack. Maybe your home? Like, that seemed better. No? I mean, I'm not a crackhead or nothing, but I'm just saying, illegal drugs, you might want to just stay safe. No? Okay. Fuck it. Despite everything, the officer still has to treat this seriously, and therefore calls another unit over to search the vehicle. Inside, they find a suspicious substance and decide... It's sad because drug addicts are victims too, but man, these people are hypocrites trying to de demonage drug users. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, fuck, fuck what you talking about for real. Fuck what you talking about. And decide oh. to test it. Be careful, because he was on the nod, or like, it yeah, seems like sure anyways. A Brillo pad? Else, but... Do you need this knife? Motherfuckers made a choice. Well, I mean, it, it goes deeper than that, though, bro. Okay, you can't fuck it. If you get addicted to a substance, you know what I mean? And you don't know what fuck it was going on in life. It could be like, you're really, really young. You know what I mean? And then you're just fucking around the bad, fucking bad influences. Fuck your whole life up with before you even know it. You know what I mean? You could really, the circumstances are different, okay? But I mean, in this circumstance, judging outside without knowing anything, dude's a politician. He's white, probably well off. I'm gonna be honest. It seemed like he put himself in that situation, doing crack in the parking lot, divorce with kids. I mean, mm, it's kind of it's hard to feel bad for him. You feel me? Yeah, we use up. Be careful with that stuff. There's, I don't know if that's fentanyl laced or not. There's white all over there. He doesn't yeah. know. Yeah, I was just telling him the same thing. Because, I mean, you don't fall asleep usually from completely, you know, it's not an opiate. Yeah. Well, right how the fuck does he know? Maybe everybody's doing drugs, dude. Am I am I at a loop chat? Do you do drugs? You little druggies? Mm, little fucking drug addicts? Mm, mm, you little druggies? Nah, no, nah. No, no, nah, no, no, nope, yes. No, yes, no. Erm, um, oh nah, Kenji. What? I'll do some drugs right now. I want to do some real fucked up shit before I die, dude. I want to take like every single drug known to man all in 24 hours. Right away. Oh, the powder was tested again later and came back positive as fentanyl too. Oh. As implied by Matthew himself, most people who consume fentanyl this way have no idea they're doing it, as distributors often dangerously lace the original drug with it to make it seem better or stronger. Oh, Obviously, shit. this isn't a great look for Matthew, and he was promptly placed under arrest after a medical check. Yeah, I know. I saw it. Like, I uh, have an option. Yeah, man. Sorry. No, lonely, yeah. I'm not lonely. I got you guys. I love you, chat. Listen, I, this is a terrible situation. We're all in a tough spot, but we got to do what we got to do right by the numbers. Oh, It'll help you in the end. Believe me when I tell you. And you'll say to us a month from now, good, best thing that ever happened to me. That's what they all tell us. A nice sentiment from the cop, but that's not exactly the way it went. Matthew was rightly only hit with a single charge of drug possession, but he was pressured into giving up his position as chairman. Damn. Most shockingly of all though, just a month later, Matthew was arrested again, this time for an array of allegations with a 12 year old. Oh no! Nah! and polite with officers in Lock stuff, him up! A complete contrast to how police chief Jonathan Hempfield behaved when he was pulled over for having too dark of a tint on his window. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not sympathizing with any of that bro i'm sorry i know you want to sympathize with that, that i'm not doing it i refuse hello was that illegal no yeah no sir uh the reason why we're stopping you well because it's a wind tent violation i blinked my blue lights at you to let you know who i was yes sir well we didn't know with it you know that's not a government tag that is a, that is a unofficial tag okay. that, that tag's not even on file i see yes well we have to catch up the bill to run it and everything like that sir so, I ain't got so, so much well, attitude. I'll, I'll, you next time. I'll let you just sit there. I was just speaking. I'm the police chief in Zebra. Well, nice to meet you, sir. Matt, Matt Polk worked for me. Your chief worked for me. Yes, sir. There's no need to get upset. I, I'm, I'm, I'm upset because I spoke to you when I come by, and now you're pulling me sir, over. Sir, I've never met you damn in my life. I understand that. Why are you being hostile? Easy. I don't, I don't have to talk to you. Okay. I'm not, I'm not talking to you. Why are you being hostile right now? The officers are immediately met with aggression, despite this being a pretty minor stop. After they realized it was a fellow officer... Like, what is that? Bro, it's giving a woman, shut up, know your place. Like, what the fuck was that, dude? Look at him. Why are you being hostile? 
Andrew, take my daddy back off, bitch. Don't talk to me. I'm not talking to you. Yeah, I'm not talking to you, bitch. The my officers fault. are immediately met with aggression, despite this being a pretty minor stop. After they realized it was a what fellow a officer, the chief would likely have been able to explain away the window tint and let them know that it was an official police vehicle with clearance. But Jonathan's aggression throws all of that out the window, while making the officers believe that something maybe isn't right here. Ooh, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. What? She's about bringing your driver's license. All right. Yeah. Uh, first, we ran the, the tag, it came back to like a Dodge Ram, so we're just it's confirming. Not a Dodge Ram. Right. Yes, sir. It's, it's a ghost tag. Yes, sir. We're making sure it's the same back with that tag. Yes, sir. Yeah. We're just. You must have run it wrong. You must have run it wrong because you didn't want to come back to a Dodge no, Ram. We, we were confirmed it. They, they let us know everything. So, so it's still coming back to a Dodge Ram now? Sir, can, can I ask why you're so upset? Uh, is it still coming back to a Dodge Ram? Damn. Yo. Let someone hit me with a door, bro. I'm, oh, I'm fucking throwing that door open and throwing his fat ass on the ground, bro. Slam and hit. I, I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes you need police brutality to fuck up some old white guy, to be honest with you. Sometimes you need to. Sometimes you gotta just toss them on the ground and beat their ass. I think, I think sometimes it might be healthy. You know, just fuck him up. He got glasses. He can't be that tough. Smack him off. No, we, we got it fixed. Why are you so upset? No, you didn't fix it. Did it? Is it still oh, coming back to a Dodge Ram right now? No, it came back nine on five. That's right. Okay. Because you run it wrong. Police on police crime. We should, we should get us more of that, to be honest. Sir. I'm I trying to be respectful with you. I understand okay? that. I understand I'm not, that. I'm not raising my voice from nothing I see, right? I understand All right, let's. But I'm trying to tell you, the one only one, thing okay? I'd done wrong was spoke. Y'all never would have pulled me over if I hadn't flicked my blue lights. No, at sir. You. No, we were going to pull your actually. Damn. I'm no, not going to lie to you. I'm no, telling you, you right. straight up, okay? Okay. All right. But. Like I said, you know, there's people out here in per se police officer with blue lights. Or you threw my license. She threw my license if she is getting them for me. She'll bring it to you, sir. Okay, well that's fine. I'm just trying to get through. I'm trying to talk with you. I don't want to talk anymore about it. Oh, All right. Wow. Rude. That's unprofessional. That's very unprofessional. Hella unprofessional. Again, this stop. Because if you're like a chief commissioner, or whatever he said he is, you should have some type of respect for law enforcement. Like those are your brothers at arms, bro. You know what I mean? Like it don't make sense. It don't make sense. You're being mad rude. You know what I mean? Hell, I'm getting hella Andrew Tate vibes from the other shit talking about some oh, female oh, back up I'm not talking to you right now you know what I mean I, I don't I don't like that like he should not be in a position of power at all it's incredibly minor and all the officers really wanted to do was check that this was in fact a police officer and not just an impersonator but unfortunately for Jonathan he escalated this to a completely unnecessary and unprofessional level and received heavy criticism for it yes sir After a short investigation it was decided that Jonathan would receive an oral reprimand and he would be required to attend at at least six months of anger management and de-escalation classes. That's it? He doesn't get fired? Like what? If you enjoy true crime videos like oh this, my God. make sure you're subscribed to see me. I shouldn't be fucking surprised, bro. Motherfuckers just be airing the whole building now, bro. They be booming anyone they see and be like, okay, enjoy your paid vacation. Like, what are we talking about, dude? We need more of the fuck. That's what I'm saying, bro. Whatever. Whatever. Not surprised to be honest with you.